welcome again to the KCTV. I hope you are going to be with me until the end of uh, this uh, video. The latest report has it that the High Court clears way for Kidure Kindiki swearing in uh, as the new deputy president. The High Court has dealt uh, Rigadi Gashagwa a blow after greenlighting the swearing in of Kidure Kindiki as new deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. The three judge bench led by Justice Eric Ogola, emphasizing the importance of maintaining continuity in the office, a court in Kerugoya had issued controversy orders halting the swearing in pending the hearing on determination of a petition against the impeachment of Rigati Gashagwa recently. Justice Anthony Mrima has however said, Justice Anthony Mrima, one of the three judges who were appointed on the three judge bench, has however has said that the constitution must remain uh, fully operational at all times and no court order should render any part of it inoperative or dormant. I'll quote what he said, we hereby find and hold that public interest calls us to uphold the constitution, which is in any event the will of the people. Therefore, or therefore, or public interest demands that the office of the deputy president should not remain vacant, he added. This becomes very clear and it clears the way. For the swearing in ceremony of Kiture Kindiki as Kenya's third deputy president in less than uh, two terms. The Shagwa layers uh, and our lawyers have criticized the ruling citing that Kindiki was not cleared by the IEBC, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. Let me uh, just give you how regarding Gashagwa's lawyers saying, Elisha Ngoi is saying that it is my humble appeal that this court issues the conservatory order on the basis that there is no clearance uh, that has been issued by the IEBC. Nobody can deny Kidure Kindiki that uh, there is no IEBC. If Kidure Kindiki is to be sworn in tomorrow, what will be the importance or what will the import of swearing in a person who has not been verified uh, by or approved by the IEBC? Subscribers, we await more updates that I'll be keeping updating to you.